Now we will apply the transitions. For this, go to the transitions tab above and click on it. You can drag and drop transitions between any two clips on the timeline. I drag and drop the dissolve transition onto the timeline. Transitions are a valuable tool for video creators, helping to move the story along, convey a mood or tone to viewers, and set the stage for the next scene. Different transitions have different meanings and symbolism, so they should be used thoughtfully and should always serve the story. To apply effects to a video, go to the Effects tab and click on it. Filmora provides various kinds of effects to use for Filmora Video Editor users. It is easy for you to create any effects you want. Here you will get good effects. You can apply it by dragging and dropping it on the timeline. Certain video effects give a certain obvious look and feel to the video, and audiences recognize the effects in play. Examples include effects that create changes in speed, distortions, reflections, artistic filters, stylistic color grading, animated transitions and more. You can apply elements to the video. Go to the Elements tab and click on it. First, I will click on the desired item, which in this case is as mentioned. The element will get downloaded. For example, I drag and drop this emoji onto the timeline. You can see its preview. You can also adjust its position, scale and rotation. Double click on it and select it. On the preview screen you can easily adjust this way. Elements are used as embellishments for screen, which are unlike filters or overlays, very flexible in use. Because elements do not modify or change the entire image, they just customize a portion of the image and leave the rest untouched. Elements adorn the video way beyond the raw product itself. There are a variety of elements available in Filmora, these elements can be writings, hand drawings, cartoons, abstract, R and much more. And the fun part is that each element in Filmora has an animation of its own. I use some elements in front of you which will give you the audio and experience of using it. So in this way you can add any element you like and use it. And you can make your video cool with good elements. After that I show how to create split screen how you can create split screen in Filmora. Click the split screen button at the top of the screen. Then you can browse and preview different kinds of split-screen layouts in the library. A split-screen simply places more than one shot into the frame, whether it's your subject or some b-roll, this effect can produce a wide range of results. Even though you might not be creating a television intro, split-screen is a great technique to show cause and effect, or illustrate how one thing relates to another. Choose your favorite one and drag and drop it onto the timeline. Add videos to the presets like this. If you need to adjust the video within the presets, click on the video and adjust the settings like zoom etc or click on this advanced option to adjust further. Then you will have a new window open. Go to the video section and click on it. Unfold transform, set the scale, position and rotation of the video from here. If the video needs color enhancement, go to the color section and do color enhancement from here when needed. Okay. You can also adjust the rest of the video settings within the presets this way. After that, you can add freeze frame to the video. I will also explain it to you. For this, go to media and drag and drop a video to the timeline from here. Select the video and click on the speed tool. Click on freeze frame option here.
So you can see that the video is frozen for 5 seconds by default. You can increase or decrease its duration this way. Apart from this you can also take a snapshot of the video. For this, place the playhead where you want to take a snapshot from the video. And click the snapshot button below the preview screen. So you can see the snapshot we have in the media. When you need a snapshot, you can take it this way. You can also adjust the zoom level of the footage on the preview screen. For this click on this button on the display screen below the preview screen. Then select an option of your choice within the zoom level. Like if I want to zoom it to 100% then I click on it. On the display screen you can change the preview position by using the mouse inside this box. In this way you can increase or decrease the zoom level of the preview screen. So I put the preview screen back to fit. You can also use safe zone in Filmora. Click on this icon again. Click the show safe zone button below. Maybe now you will think what is the function of this feature? So let me tell you. Safe zones or safe margins are used so that your video can be displayed as you want it on the preview screen, and when the video is displayed, the important action appears at the correct location. So this option is very helpful for us, and we often need this feature. Through this option you can increase and decrease the volume of your load speaker or your headphones etc. Note that this option has nothing to do with the volume of the audio in the project, and will not affect the audio in the project. With this option you can enlarge the preview screen. You can also play the video from here. I minimize the preview screen back. Also, you will get sample color option within media. Here you will find pictures in many colors. When you need a picture of any color in your project, you can immediately drag and drop it from the same tab. All these colors are absolutely free and fulfill your need instantly. You can also adjust it this way. Inside the media tab you will also find the sample video option. In it you will find sample videos. You can use it for any purpose, like you practice editing something etc. Within these videos you will also find countdown videos. To use it, first double click on it and download it, remember to have an internet connection. In addition, you can filter the file type using this option on the right side of the project media. For example, if you want to filter video only, select video option, if you want to filter audio, select audio. If you want to filter the image, click on the image. And so do subtitles. With this, under the view option, you can make the thumbnails of the files in the media large, medium and small. Also here it gives you sort by option. And also gives group by option. After all the editing is done, we need to save the video to our computer. So for that we have to export the video. For this click on export button above. After clicking the export button, in this window you can set the quality of the video, etc. For example, you can select the format of the video in the local tab of this window. In device tab under format, you can choose to output your video according to the ideal settings for different types of devices. In the YouTube tab you can upload the video directly to YouTube. Click login, then click export. Then you can set the title of the video and upload it. It also gives you an export option to Vimeo and DVD. Normally when we export the video, we select the MP4 format in the local tab. And video settings also I show you guys how to make the best settings to export video to MP4 format. Enter any name for the video. Next, select the folder to which you want to export the video. From here you can select any one of these options as per your wish. Good, better or best. Here I select the better option. The settings that I skip, you should also skip, we will only do the necessary settings. Set the resolution to 1920 by 1080. Keep the frame rate at 25 FPS. Set the bit rate to 8000 kilobits per second. 
leave the rest as it is and click the OK button. So we have created the project and done the export settings. Now we just need to press a button and the video will be exported. Click the export button below. So you can see that our video is getting exported. Remember that it may take time for the video to be exported, so you have to be patient. Export time depends on video quality and length. Friends, if you haven't seen the video of 50 Filmora secrets, tips and tricks, then you haven't seen anything. Click on this link above now and avail free 50 Filmora secrets, tips and tricks. Hope you found this course very helpful and beneficial in your video editing learning. In this video editing course, I taught you Filmora A to Z, plus I shared with you very important tips and tricks that will help you in video editing. Subscribe to Solly Tutorials YouTube channel for more tips and tricks videos and great video editing tutorials. And if this complete video editing course of Filmora 11 is helpful for you then like the video. If you have any question about the video, you can ask in the comment section. See you again with a new video. Take care of yourself. Bye.